Grip Strength, Wikipedia Audio Grip strength is the force applied by the hand to pull on or suspend from objects and is a specific part of hand strength. Optimum sized objects permit the hand to wrap around a cylindrical shape with a diameter from 1 to 3 inches. Stair rails are an example of where shape and diameter are critical for proper grip in case of a fall. Other grip strengths that have been studied are the hammer and other hand tools. In applications of grip strength, the wrist must be in a neutral position to avoid developing cumulative trauma disorders. Grip strength is a general term also used by physical strength of an animal, and athletes, referring to the muscular power and force that they can generate with their hands. In athletics, it is critical for rock climbers and in competitions such as the world's strongest man. Grip strength training is also a major feature in martial arts, and can be useful in various professions where people must work with their hands. The human hand can be used to grip objects in several different positions. These different positions require different types of grip strength which are typically quantified based on the way the hand is being used. Types of Grip The crush grip is what is most commonly thought of as grip. It involves a handshake type grip, where the object being gripped rests firmly against the palm and all fingers. A strong crush grip is useful in bone crushing handshakes or for breaking objects with pressure. In a pinch grip, the fingers are on one side of an object, and the thumb is on the other. Typically, an object lifted in a pinch grip does not touch the palm. This is generally considered a weaker grip position. The pinch grip is used when grabbing something like a weight plate or lifting a sheet of plywood by the top edge. Care must be taken to avoid cramping the muscles in the hand. The King Kong Grip Challenge, North American Grip Sport Championship, World's Strongest Hands, A Gripmas Carol, Champion of Champions. European Grip Championships, Mighty Mitts, Britain's Strongest Hands, British Grip Championships, Munsterland Grip Challenge, Global Grip Challenge, La Decopage Grip Challenge, Australian Grip Championships, German Grip Championships, Backyard Bastard Bash, Metroflex Mayhem at Metroflex, The National Capital Grip Championship the South Jersey Grip Contest, the Southern Squeeze. A support grip typically involves holding something, such as the handle of a bucket, for a long time. This type of strength is epitomized by the farmer's walk, where the bucket is filled with sand or water, and carried over a long distance. A great deal of muscular endurance is necessary to have a good carrying grip. There has been extensive medical and ergonomic research looking at grip strength. This has led to the generation of normative data. The average for grip strength of men is higher than that of women. The grip strength of 90% of women is lower than that of 95% of men. Averages also exist for different types of grip in different positions. Grip strength increases or decreases depending on the arm position at which the grip strength is being measured. A person's grip strength usually results in having the strongest grip strength when their arm is extended at 90 degrees before their body, as opposed to the other extreme arm positions, rested at one's side or held straight up above one's head. Grip strength is not optimal if one's arm is extended backwards beyond the resting position at the body's sides. It can be concluded that grip strength is affected via the different arm muscles and their ability to contract. Grip strength is often used in medicine as a specific type of hand strength. The purpose of this testing is diverse, including to diagnose diseases, to evaluate and compare treatments to document progression of muscle strength, 
and to provide feedback during the rehabilitation process as a measure indicating the level of hand function. For example, it is used to indicate changes in hand strength after hand surgery or after a rehabilitation program. By asking subjects to maintain a maximum contraction for longer periods, it can be used as a measure of fatigue. It is also able to predict a decline in function in old age. Since the above mentioned grips involve the action of a large number of different joints and muscle groups, grip strength is not always very sensitive to measure individual muscle groups in medicine. For this purpose, dynamometers have been developed that provide more specific information on individual muscles in the hand such as the Rotterdam Intrinsic Hand Myometer. Hand grip is an important, though often overlooked, component of strength in sports. However, the grip strength is most often a secondary or auxiliary function of the sport. Sports in which grip strength are included within the secondary focus include the following, movement-based climbing, gymnastics, pole dancing, horse racing, power lifting or professional arm wrestling, ball-based baseball, gridiron football, rugby, canoe polo, badminton, or tennis, and combat sports such as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, boxing, fencing, judo, or wrestling. From their beginnings as odd performances at fairs and circuses, grip feats have recently gained acceptance as a sport in their own right, with competitions being held with increasing regularity. Events include one-arm deadlift, nail bending, the closing of torsion spring hand grippers, V-bar lifting, and standardized pinch apparatuses. Other common events may include rolling thunder lifts, thick bar deadlifts, and blob lifting. The major contests are Normative data Top 3 results back to 1955 Although grip strength lends itself to impromptu performances that might feature a unique implement or cater to a particular individual or a small group, performances on standardized, widely available tests carry more weight. One such feat involving world-class grip strength is officially closing a number three captains of Crush Gripper, first accomplished by Richard Soren in 1991. Card tearing is a traditional feat of grip and lower arm strength that has a rich history, and top performances include John Brookfield tearing three decks of cards at once and tearing 50 decks of cards in less than a minute. Brookfield has explained the technique for tearing cards in both his Milo article on the topic, and in his book The Grip Master's Manual. Grip strength training requires a different type of training regimen than other muscular training. The reasons are primarily based on the interplay of the tendons and muscles and the lack of downtime or rest that most people's hands get. It is generally considered that all aspects of the hand must be exercised to produce a healthy and strong hand. Only working on closing grip will cause an imbalance between closing and opening muscles, and can lead to problems such as tendinitis and carpal tunnel syndrome. In medicine In sports As a separate discipline Feats of strength Training methods For closing grip For opening grip for stabilization Notable grip strength athletes Notes